Hi guys, today I'm going to be replacing this tub drain and show you a few different styles and sizes so you know which one to pick up at your local hardware store. I'll also show you a couple different methods on how to remove the tub drain and properly seal the new one. Let's get started. I threw this mock up together really quickly so we have a better understanding of what's happening behind the tub and what we're going to be sealing against. So up here is your overflow and this is designed that if you ever fill your tub up so high that it's going to go over the skirt or over this lip here. This overflow is designed to catch the water and run down into the drain and out your residence. Now to seal this overflow, it's usually going to have a foam gasket like it does here or a rubber gasket. And this is going to actually be installed behind the tub. Then the plate goes on this side of the tub and the screw goes in between and squeezes everything together to seal that connection. For the tub drain, this is a threaded connection. So this gets threaded into the drain. There's a washer underneath. And the washer gets installed underneath the tub. Then the underside of this flange is either going to be sealed with uh, bathroom silicone or plumber's putty. That gets threaded on top. Your tub is going to be in between here, sandwiched in between. And this gets tightened down. I'll show you how that's done in a bit here when we replace this one. The, the pop out is removed to actually tighten it in. So this all flows down into a TY, which then flows it down into a P trap. And this P-trap is designed to hold water so that the sewer gases don't come back up and into your bathroom. So let's start with a few different sizes and styles of drain and then we'll start on this tub. The two most common drain sizes are one and three eighths of an inch and one and a half inch. The one and three eighths drain is fine threaded and the actual outside dimension thread to thread is one and nine sixteenths. The one and a half inch drain is coarse threaded and the actual thread to thread dimension is one and seven eighths. Before purchasing a replacement drain, it is important to determine the size of your current drain so you purchase the correct size. Another consideration to account for when purchasing the replacement drain is the overflow plate, and if it's a two-hole or one-hole design. Some kits will come with adapters for both designs, but double check before purchasing. This kit by AB&A includes a single hole cover plate, foam gasket, and a one and a half inch drain assembly. This universal kit is a neat design and includes a two hole cover plate and the drain assembly can be connected to both one and a half and one and three eighths drains with the use of a brass bushing. There are multiple methods to remove and tighten the tub drain. The very first step is to remove the pop-up. Once removed, you'll notice the cross members at the base of the drain. A common method in removing the drain is using a pair of needle nose pliers to spin. The downside to this method is that you're only making contact with two of the cross members and risk the chance of breaking them. I recommend using a tub wrench, which makes four points of contact and reduces the chance of breaking the cross members. In the case that there are no cross members or that they are broken, a tub extraction tool can be used. This tool digs into the brass drain and is spun with a half inch ratchet. Before removing the overflow screws, plug the drain so nothing falls down. Though changing the gaskets are optional, I typically always replace them, especially when they're as dried out as this one is. The replacement gasket that comes with this kit is foam. Install it between the drain and the tub so that it is flat and not folded over. Next is installing the new cover plate. The screws for the kit end up being too long and have to be cut to size.
When installing the screws, tighten them in a back and forth pattern so that the foam gasket compresses evenly. I'm using a tub wrench to remove the drain, but remember if you don't have any cross members, a tub drain extraction tool can be used. Closer inspection of the drain shows that it's a 1 and 3 8 fine threaded style. The previous installer also installed the washer on the top side of the tub when it's supposed to be installed underneath. The new washer needs a little persuasion as there's little to no movement in the drainage. This isn't a typical scenario and you most likely will have a little bit of movement in the drain to install the new washer. If using a flat blade screwdriver as I did to gain enough space, be extremely careful not to crack the tub. Apply a bead of plumber's putty or bathroom silicone to the underside of the drain flange. Don't worry about adding too much putty as the excess will just squeeze out when tightening. Always start the drain off hand tight to ensure it isn't being cross threaded. Snug up the drain with a wrench, clean up the plumber's putty, and then reinstall the pop-up. To check for leaks, fill the tub and look for bubbles around the drain, indicating water leaking past the seal. You can also check to see if the water level lowers over time. Here's another drain replacement with some slightly different scenarios. This is a single hole overflow plate, which uses a two hole to single hole bracket. Again, the washer is on the wrong side of the tub and it would do nothing to seal the water in this configuration. This washer is about as dried out as you can get, so I'll be installing a new one as well. These rubber style overflow washers are tapered and the narrow end points towards the back of the tub and the wider end faces to the back of the drainage. Again, not a typical scenario you're going to run into to have no movement in the drainage. So a flat blade screwdriver has to be used to slide the new washer in place. Though the old two hole to one hole bracket can be used, this kit comes with a new one. Alternate tightening the screws to compress the rubber washer evenly and then install the new cover plate. Anyone want to take bets on which side of the tub the washer is going to be on? Oh, would you look at that. The wrong side. This style of drain washer is ridged and is designed to be installed with the ridge side facing towards the underside of the tub and the smooth side facing the drainage.
Install the new drain using the same procedure as shown earlier in the video. Well guys, thanks for watching and hopefully you found this video informative. And like always, liking, commenting, subscribing is always greatly appreciated. Till next time.